And developing this morning, Metro Police are investigating what led up to a deadly officer-involved shooting. This happened Sunday night, and officers say that they're working to find all possible cameras that could have recorded that incident. Our Nico Panisi is standing by live from IMPD headquarters this morning. And Nico, what can you tell us about how this incident all got started? Well, Caitlin, Metro Police say that three officers fired their weapons after a suspect fired his weapon. This incident all started at around 7.30 Sunday night on the city's west side. It happened near 34th and Georgetown Road. Officers say a SWAT team and crisis response negotiators were brought to de-escalate a situation where a man held a firearm to his forehead. The SWAT team fired non-lethal launches at the man, but he responded by firing his gun at officers. Chief Chris Bailey says officers responded by firing their weapons at the man and he was taken to Eskenazi Hospital where he later died. The police chief says this incident comes off the heels of a violent weekend in Indianapolis and says the community needs to help find solutions to prevent gun violence. This latest incident obviously taking place on Easter is, uh, you know, is unfortunate. Another family is left mourning. Officers are left dealing with having to use deadly force when no officer leaves their house wanting to do that. The officers involved in the shooting are on administrative leave as a standard procedure. The officers involved in the incident were wearing body cameras. Investigators are also working to find cameras in the neighborhood that may have captured this incident. Chief Bailey also says that there will be an internal investigation into this shooting and this case will also be reviewed by the Civilian Use of Force Board. Reporting live in downtown Indianapolis, Nico Panisi, WRTV.